Tech and AI in Tennis. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from IBM Sports and Entertainment Partnerships is Marketing Program Director Christy Kolsky. Hi, Christy. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to see you. Now time for another U.S. Open. And once again, IBM is working closely as the technology partner of the USTA. Long history there. And you're really using technology to create all new experiences for fans. Tell us about it. Yeah, we've been uh, partners with the USTA for more than 30 years and really trying to keep them on the cutting edge of digital innovation, uh, developing new uh, capabilities, new experiences to enhance uh, really the fan experience. And this year, we're really excited to bring the power of generative AI uh, to fans through the, the digital app and website. Uh, we have a new solution we call Match Reports. This is actually AI-generated content using Watson X and focusing on our uh, granite foundation models to help generate content, short form and long form bullets, um, and even longer form articles that are going to be available for fans immediately following the conclusion of a match. Uh, really, if you think about it, the challenge for the USTA is they, they're great at covering the biggest matches and the biggest stars, but this is a two-week tournament, 254 matches simultaneous action happening on 17 different courts. Um, so this is really a great tool to help scale the expertise of the USTA editorial team and help them cover more action and more courts than ever before. Uh, the solution is actually gonna be published, uh, published as information internally. The USTA editorial team will then have an opportunity to quickly review it, add headlines or tweak uh, for tone, and then get that published within uh, minutes of the conclusion of a match. It's really interesting. As you said, the, the challenges with all of those matches going on simultaneously, especially in the early rounds, have got to be tremendous. So how how is the how is the information getting into the the computer to the AI to to, to churn this out? Well, there are devices uh, on every court that the chair umpire are actually inputting results from the match in real time. There are also courtside statisticians. All of that information is fed into a data operations room on the grounds of the tennis center. Um, we're able to then quickly ingest that, the scores, the stats, we'll publish it uh, on our newly redesigned IBM Slam Tracker. Um, and then in addition to that, we're then applying the AI uh, capabilities to help generate the, the, the language and the narrative content that is gonna complement the traditional scores and stats. Um, there's another solution that we're rolling out and we're really excited about. Um, it was, I mean, technically introduced last year. It's called AI Commentary, but we're enhancing that this year. Um, again, a lot of action happening, simultaneous courts. There's only so much that can be covered in any moment. So this is actually taking highlight clips from all the courts and adding AI-generated spoken commentary uh, and narrative, and that's going to give more context more understanding of what's happening on the outer courts, courts that might normally not have gotten this coverage. Well, that's really terrific. And how do fans access all of this? Uh, by downloading the US Open app or visiting usopen.org. Uh, fans can, can follow along with all the action. Tell us more about how AI is really changing the sports viewing experience. I mean, tennis and, and other sports too. Yeah, I mean, AI is revolutioning every business, every industry. I think all um, everyone's trying to experiment and understand how they can use it to enhance productivity uh, or provide uh, more content or more immersive experiences. Uh, and sports are no different. Um, in the case of the Masters with golf, uh, it's another partners of IBM. And earlier this year, we were able to roll out uh, the AI commentary I mentioned um, for the Masters. Same situation, hundreds of players, uh, simultaneous action on 18 different holes, four days of action. Um, so we're able to take those highlight clips and add AI generated commentary, both in English and in Spanish using AI. Um, we also rolled out a new feature called Hole Insights. Um, so this is actually for golf fans out there, you know that they change the placement of the pin every day. And so we can actually look at how those holes are playing each day, historical averages, as well as, as, well as what's happening in any given in the given day with the latest placement uh, and make projections and insights about how different players might perform on any given day in that environment. In the case of ESPN fantasy football, 
Um, that's another example of a lot of data, right? Lots of teams, lots of players, who's injured, who's playing well. Um, so we're using AI to help provide uh, recommendations and boom and bust understanding around different players as uh, as you make your um, set your lineups week to week or even trade recommendations. I imagine it uh, has an impact on on the world of sports betting as well, but <laughs> with people getting the information they want to before they place their bets. I mean, that is not how that, you know, that's not the focus of our work. Um, although if someone wanted to use this information uh, that way, they could, I will say we did correctly predict uh, Alcaraz over Djokovic in the Wimbledon final. So use that information how you might. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. So how, when you make a prediction like that, what's going into it? Yeah. So within our um, IBM slam tracker on, on the U S open digital platforms, you have all the traditional scores and stats, but we are also applying the power of AI to make a likelihood to win prediction. Um, the way rankings today work in tennis is it's a 52 week rolling average, but how someone played you know, 52 weeks ago may not really reflect how they're playing right now. Um, they could be dealing with injuries or coaching issues or other factors um, that might impact their play. So we are actually merging all that structured data, that historical data, and pairing it with what we call unstructured data, but that's articles, blogs, um, punditry, perspectives on, on the momentum of a player coming into the, a match and what their chances might be, or even what their performance is on different court surfaces. We can actually apply that all together to create a new ranking and new perspectives on a likelihood for a player to win, given how they're performing right now. And you're getting information about, the, you know, if somebody's not feeling well or has a little injury, any little thing can go into this, right? Absolutely. So for more info, once again, where can everyone go? Well, if you want to learn more about these AI capabilities and solutions, you can visit ibm.com forward slash US Open. And if you want to experience all these great insights yourself, be sure to download, download the US Open app whole new meaning to server and tennis, right? So. <laughs> Absolutely. Christy Kolsky, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you.